Okay, let's do a reading exercise and finish. Um, dismantle, by the way. Tree, you see. Okay, so first uh, we go through the meaning. Uh, with the help of this uh, children's book, we learn how to rent an apartment. And uh, then we go and read it through in Finnish. So you can uh, try to memorize and practice your pronunciation and just, you know, memorize the. Uh, meaning you see how much can you understand when I do it in Finnish so here we have uh, Herr Janis Mr. Rabbit ja, and Rova Mrs. Karhu Bear here we have them uh, just typical uh, Finnish couple uh, very dominant feminist uh, household mother or uh, um, wife and uh, uh, older, um, scared little timid rabbit for a husband. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, this is the authors, I suppose. Uh, okay. One. Day, Mr. Rabbit finds in the forest a deserted house. The house is old and a little bit run down, but otherwise very pretty. To here, I will move to live to live says overjoyed or says in an overjoyed manner mr rabbit soon it however notices that the house is a way too big for one a tiny rabbit so, Mr. Rabbit hangs a sign on the pole uh, in front of the house. I think this is one is the pole. It kind of looks like a traffic light, but uh, no, I think it's the original picture where he's moving in. He hasn't put any yet himself. Uh, beautiful apartment for rent on the second floor uh, immediately next morning an assertive powerful knocking shakes the house on the doorstep or actually in Finnish just on the door stands Mrs. Bear. Lovely house, although small, it uh, makes a bear like sound. I could enjoy myself here. Dal is here. Is there? Uh, is the apartment still? Uh, available, Mr. Rabbit. Rayanis examines shyly uh, Mrs. Bear. Yes, yes, but I had thought something a little bit smaller to live with with a living companion or a roommate or anything even a wife but I think they're not married yet they just met first time uh, perhaps a hamster or die or a turtle Mrs. Bear laughs so that 
deep stomach um, shakes like a jelly pudding. Okay, we see the picture here. Mm, well, there's a quite a bit of st stomach or belly uh, she's got there. Okay, um, I'm not gonna continue unless I got a lot of positive replies, so people want to continue with the lesson. Um, but let's do the finished part now. So, Erra Yani Sarova Karahu. Eräänä päivänä Herra Janis löytää metsästä hylätyn talon. Talo on vanha ja hiukan ränsistynyt, mutta muuten oikein sievä. Tänne minä muutan asumaan, riemastuu Herra Janis. Pian se kuitenkin huomaa, että talo on aivan liian suuri yhdelle pienelle Janikselle. Niinpä herra Jänis ripustaa kyltin pylvääseen talon eteen. Kaunis huoneisto vuokrattavana. Toinen kerros. Heti seuraavana aamuna jämäkkä koputus tärisyttää taloa. Ovella seisoo rouva karhu. Mukava talo, vaikkakin pieni, se mörisee. Voisi viihtyä täällä. Onko asunto vielä vapaa, herra Jänis? Herra Jänis tutkailee arasti rouva karhua. On kyllä, mutta olin ajatellut jotain hiukan pienempää asuinkumppania. Hamsteria tai kilpikonnaa. Rouva karhu. Nauraa niin, että sen vatsa hytkyy.